Hello, guys. Uh, welcome back to Maison African Motives. Uh, still working on our Meccano techniques and five revisions. So in this case, we are going to be focusing on the reduction uh, gearbox in this case, uh, whereby we are dealing with uh, a condition of a worm shaft that we have. So we are given the question paper of November 2022, whereby we are given Fig 2, which shows a reduction uh, gearbox with uh, two start where a worm shaft in this case, so there are two start worm shaft, where a worm gear and four gears, uh, that is the, the worm shaft is connected to an electric motor rotating at 500 uh, revs per minute. So the speed that we are given at uh, the worm shaft in this case is 500 revs per minute, which is this speed that we have of 500 revs per minute. So if we uh, to consider our questions, we are given to calculate the following 7.1, the delivery speed of the gearbox, that is seven marks for that. And you wonder uh, why are we supposed to have seven marks? Remember, uh, the input is at the worm in this case. So here we are having our input in this case. We are considering uh, this as the, as the input uh, gear that we are going to have. Uh, then we are going to have the output at the end, which is the delivery in this case. So the delivery is the one that we are considering as the output in this case, that is our delivery. So the question is asking us to calculate the delivery speed, that is uh, the speed of what of E, that is our delivery. So we are asked to calculate the speed at E in this case. All right, how are we going to calculate this speed at E? Uh, if we are to take note into consideration what was supposed to actually happen in this case, we were supposed to consider our speeds. Uh, remember from the ratio of speed, I'm going to explain this way. Uh, remember that we understand from the input concept to say the input speed, this is what we understand the input uh, speed over the output uh, speed in this case. So we've got the input speed, over the output uh, over the output speed which is supposed to be the number of teeth is supposed to be equal to the number of teeth on the of the driven gears in this case we are considering the number of teeth of uh, driven gears all right so this is of driven gears over uh, in this case we are going to consider the number of teeth of driving gears in this case so we have got uh, the number of teeth the number of teeth of uh, driving gears. This is what we are supposed to have in actual sense, whereby we simply consider uh, the product of driven, in this case, the product of driven, uh, that is the product of driven, and we also consider the product of uh, driving, of the driving in this case, which is the one that is driving the other gears. So, uh, if we were to consider this, I want us to, to be careful if we were to consider this, we're going to have the input and output in this case, like I considered here, we said the input, which is uh, our B and the output, which is E. So we're going to have input, which is the speed at B. Uh, we are going to have the speed at uh, B, which is our input over the speed of the output, which is E. And this is equal to, since we have got so many uh, gears to be considered, we are going to consider those which are being driven and the drivers in this case. So what is going to happen on this diagram is that the B, this which is our input gear, in this case, this is our input, right? The B is going to drive uh, gear C in this case. The C is the one that is on the outer. In this case, we are saying B drives uh, C. So B drives C. And if we consider what is happening here, we can see that D is going to drive, D is driving E. So D drives E. So D is going to drive uh, E. So meaning to say on the driven, these are the ones that we have on the driven C and E. These are the ones which are being driven. And the drivers, in this case, we are considering B and what B and D. So we are going to have, uh, in this case, we are going to have C and E on the what? On the driven, the product. That is the number of teeth, like I considered here to say, we are going to use 
uh, the product of uh, the number of teeth, the product of the driven. So the driven, in this case, we are considering C and E. So this is going to be uh, TC, all right, sorry for that. We are going to have the product of TC times uh, TE in this case, which are on the driven. So we are going to have uh, TE over the product of the driving, which is the number of on the driving, we put B and D. So T corresponds with the B, so it's gonna be TB times uh, TD in this case, all right. Now, if we consider uh, in this case, we do not have the speed of uh, B in this case, we do not have the speed here of this B. So on this formula that we have formulated here, we are going to see that we do not have the speed uh, of a B. We want to calculate the output in this case. Remember, we are supposed to calculate the output, which is uh, an area, like I said, the one that is on the output is E, the delivered. So we are supposed to calculate NE. We have got TC, uh, TE, let's consider TC, uh, call it this TC, TE. We have uh, B and D, B and also D, we have this, but we do not have these two. Uh, we do not have the speed at B, which is the input. And also we are supposed to calculate NE, the one that we are asked is NE. So now you have to ask yourself, how are you going to calculate NB? which is the speed that we have uh, uh, in this case on the input. So what is happening is that uh, at B, let us consider what is happening on these two. At B here, if we are to consider our, our gears, in this case, uh, the gear B, which is the one that I said is in the input, it is in the, on the same part where, it, where we are having a connected to the same point. So meaning to say, the speed that we are going to consider on this on these two, that is A and B, we are going to have the same speed. So meaning to say, considering that the speed of B is equal to the speed of A, we can calculate the speed at A. Why? We know that from the formula, uh, in this case, this is the, the worm, the one that is affecting the worm. So we are going to have the, re the revolutions of the worm wheel. So this one, A, is representing the worm wheel, all right? This is our worm. Then we have got the worm wheel. But the worm wheel is connected to gear B, which is our starting point, which is at the input. Our gear, in this case, is the one that you are considering B. Then this is the worm wheel, which is connected to the what? To the worm. So we are saying the speed at B is the same as the speed of the worm. This uh, A, in this case, that we are having on the outer part, which is what, which is the worm. So we are going to calculate the speed or the revolutions, the revolutions uh, of the worm wheel, all right? The revolutions of the worm wheel can be calculated. We have a formula for the revolutions uh, of the worm wheel, which can be taken as the speed. We are going to consider the speed in this case over uh, the number of teeth on the worm gear. So we are going to consider the number of teeth on the worm wheel in this case, we are considering the worm wheel, which is a TA. So we are going to consider the number of teeth, sorry for that, the number of teeth in this case uh, of the worm, that is of the worm uh, gear or the worm wheel in this case, all right? So that we just use the same concept, this is H. So if we are to consider this, we do not have the speed. We do not have the speed in this case. Uh, we, we do not have our speed. So where are we going to consider the speed in this case? The speed that we are going to consider is taken from the number of teeth. Since uh, we, are, we are considering that 110 of a worm in this case, 110 of a worm shaft will displace two teeth on the worm wheel. 110 or on the worm shaft, it is going to produce or it is going to di displace two teeth on the worm wheel, this one. So meaning to say we can have the speed by multiplying by two because it's going to, di uh, to displace two teeth on the what? On the worm wheel. So it is going to be two times uh, the number uh, the speed that we are given in this case is 500. So if we multiply by this, we are going to have 500 
which is 1000 in this case reps per, per minute. So we are given uh, the speed. So we're going to multiply uh, the speed that you have on the web because it's going to displace two feet. So you multiply it by two. So we need to say we're going to take the speed of 1000 reps per minute over the number of teeth on of the worm wheel or on the worm wheel, which is this case, the worm wheel is the outer part. In this case, this outer part, which is our A. So the number of teeth on A is 50 in this case. All right. So that means we are going to obtain 20. In this case, if you simplify properly, 20 revs per minute, which is representing the revs the revolutions of the worm wheel and the worm wheel in this case is A. So we have got the speed at A in this case. But the speed at A is same as the speed of the gear B in this case. So meaning to say we also have the speed of gear B since we said NA and NB they are equal. So we're going to obtain 20 revs per minute. We have the speed of B in this case. Remember, why are we calculating the speed or why are we worried about the speed at B? This is our input. So we need this input here, like we said, uh, the input speed. Since we have the number of teeth, everything is there, but we do, we do not just have this part of NB. Now we have calculated the speed of NB in this case, which is same as NA. So I'm going to substitute into our formula that is 20 over the speed of E, which is the output, that is our delivery in this case. Remember, we are supposed to calculate the speed of E in this case, which is the delivery or the output, that is the output uh, speed in this case, which is the one that we are obtaining at the end, that is at the end from the input up to the, the one that we have at the end is the output. So here we are simply going to substitute, since we have to calculate NE, we are simply going to suppose we have all these, the teeth here, all these we have. So we're going to count the teeth at C and E. So at C, that is a T, C is 55. And at E, it's 80. So it is going to be 55 times 80. That is at C and at E. So we are going to have 55 times 80. This is 55 times 80 over TB times TD the teeth at B and at D. At B, it's 20. At D, it's 25. So it's going to be 20 times 25 in this case. All right, sorry for that. So we are going to have 20 times 25. So that's it. We can calculate the speed at E. That is the whole part of the person. We have all this information. So what you're simply going to do here is to cross multiply. If you want, you can make NE the subject or you can cross multiply. So NE, is going to multiply this whole part of 55 times 80. So 55 times 80 times NE, what are we going to obtain? We are going to obtain 4,400. So that is going to be 4,400 uh, NE, which is equal to, you multiply this part 20 times 20 times 25, this whole part here, you are going to obtain uh, 10,000. That is something like uh, 10,000 in this case. So if we divide, uh, both sides by 4,400 so that we determine the value of NE, we are going to obtain 10,000 over 4,400, which is going to be 2,7, uh, 2,27, actually 2,27, uh, 27, and so on. So we are referring to the speed in the revs per minute. So therefore our speed at the output or at, at the delivery, it is going to be 2,273 to three decimal places that is in the revs per minute. So that is the speed at the delivery or at the output in this case, that's how you simply calculate it. So from the formula of the input speed to the product of the number of teeth of the driven over the product of driving, we can work with that, but we do not have the input. So the purpose of calculating the speed uh, of the worm wheel is that so that we obtain the speed of the input, which is the speed of B, because these two are mounted at the same point. So we are going to be having the same speed. All right, then um, the other part of the question, which is now 7.2, was to calculate the velocity ratio of the gearbox. That is uh, three marks for that. All right, so how are we going to have uh, the velocity ratio? So it follows that from our formula that uh, the velocity ratio 
is equivalent to the worm speed over the delivery speed. So we are going to consider uh, the worm speed in this case over uh, the delivery speed. So we are going to consider uh, the delivery speed. That is how we can calculate the velocity ratio. That is the worm speed, the speed that we have at the worm, this one, this is at the worm, at, at, the, at the input here, 500 meters, uh, 500 revs per, per minute. So we put our speed of uh, 500 revs per minute over the speed of the delivery. Remember, that is the one that we calculated before NE at the output at the delivery for 2.273. So that is what you're going to obtain. So if you divide these two, you're going to obtain uh, 219,974. Uh, that is our velocity ratio. So you can write this as two as to one remember it's a ratio like uh, just the same way write a as to b a ratio or as a fraction over one or you can write it as as to one so that is how we can simply work out uh, such typical question on gearboxes if we are given a condition of a worm uh, that is whereby we've got a worm wheel and uh, a connection of other gears in this case. So what you have to consider is the uh, the effect of the driver, the B drives uh, C and D is driving E. Why least we are having the worm wheel at the input or where we are having the worm in this case. That is the whole idea of these typical questions. We shall see more questions as we proceed.